What's going on, guys? So, it's day two of this March on Selma. All the, um, the orientation, all that fun stuff is done. So, I'm actually on the bus getting ready to walk. I don't know actually where we're headed to, but I'll let you know. But, um, having a lot of great conversations with people, um, talking about the Selma of the North, Milwaukee. And so, stay tuned for the rest of the day. We'll see what happens. The Edmund Pettus Bridge. It's cool. What is the weather like? It's it's warm. It's warm. It's thin. So, in front of the church, about to get ready to um, march. So, we about to get started. It's cool. Walkie in the house. So we got Dominique from DC, Anacostia. We got Sarah from Yonkers. Yonkers. We got Natty here, Groundwork alum. She's supposed to be the first member of the Lawrence Hall of Fame. Yes. You just gotta ask first. We got Pam. What's up? Where are you from, Pam? You said, are you from Yonkers or are you from Lawrence? I'm from the Bronx. Ah, oh, yeah, the Bronx, the home of honey. We got Sophie. I feel like you should just give me a peace sign. I feel like, give me some peace. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a little troublemaker. We got Nate, my boy Nate, next to my boy Tomas. Hey, I like that hat. Where you get that hat from? Hey, that's what's up. 
Brown. What's right? gonna work? Kevin. Uh, where's, where's Pokey and Gumby? Did you bring them? We gotta bring our groundwork uh, crew. Boom. Pokey. Where's Pokey? Oh, yeah. Pokey and Gumby. And that's the groundwork crew. I think I think Ronnie's somewhere. Oh, she's over there being a diplomat, making friends. Say hi. Look at her. Go America. No peace. No peace. No justice. No peace. So we marching. I don't actually know how far we are. I think we're going. Uh, We've been walking for what? 30 minutes? And this is two miles? Man, I gotta step up my walking game, y'all. are in front of the David Hall Farm, um, the very first campsite that the marchers stayed at. Um, I was told that David Hall provided spaghetti, which is cool. Um, super cool experience. We got to talk to his daughter. Um, what I'm learning is that a lot of people sacrificed for the greater good of this project. Heard after he helped the people, they denied his uh, banking rights. So that like really sucks, playing with people's money. But that's what they do to stop freedom, stop people from uh, gaining quality. So it's a hard lesson, but it was actually a very crucial one we learned today. Say hi guys. Hi. Hey. We're just missing Rain Ronnie. She's she's out the click. Man, this tablet is a godsend. <laughs> Three people died during the month. And then one died in the fall. Mm -hmm. Just trying to give somebody a constitutional right. Now, I'm fortunate that my father was an immigrant and my mother was from the South. When I grew up, I was half Bubba and half Negro. So I got involved in the movement very early because I knew who I was. Right. I was in trouble unless I fought to make change. And I'm happy to see that the future is looking very bright when I teach the diversity. Because the people who suffer from racism should not have to find a solution for racism. It's an American problem that all of us equally need to 